there, I'm Chris Rachel Lozel, your kitchen overlord. We are back with more exciting Hoovy and kitchen product reviews for you. And this week, we are channeling your grandma, because, you know, Doctor Who's 50 years old. Yeah. So you know what your grandma used to collect? Uh, spoons. You know what else your grandma used to collect? Salt and pepper shakers. My goodness, she got it this time. <laughs> so we have here the exciting official Doctor Who salt and pepper shakers. Mm -hmm. And we have the unofficial Doctor Who salt and pepper shakers. Let's go ahead and take a close up of some of these. Mm -hmm. So I have these in the box compared to the ones right next to them. So you'll know that I didn't break it. Uh, this is what the unofficial ones look like, which are just exciting police boxy action. And this is what the official ones are supposed to look like. So let's pan back here and see me take them out of the Ooh, box. Unboxing. Ooh, unboxing the exciting shakers. And dun, 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 there's a reason that I brought the other ones. And that reason is... Look at how adorable that looks. Ah. Go ahead, release the Dalek. Release the Dalek. All right. Tell me what's wrong with that Dalek. Oh. Yeah. So I ordered these. They're not shipped from England. These are shipped from ThinkGeek. And when it got here, one of his arms was pre-broken for a... my displeasure. Oh, that's too Yeah, bad. this makes me very, very sad. Now, it's hard not to break something with a little plunger arm like that. I can, I'm can i sympathetic, but it also, uh, you know, I never even got to use it before it was broken. Mm -hmm. Now, if you put the full-size salt shaker right next to it compared to the other ones here, you can see that this is much, much larger than the unofficial ones you can get. It's also a little bit more tartacy as opposed to these. However, um, I like things that are intact. I like things that come to me not broken. Yeah. I don't want to have to glue them together. It's I'm not really sure what they should do instead, because having little fiddly bits like this on anything, it's it's hard. Like you want to have mm -hmm. the fiddly bits because it looks well exterminate mm -hmm. Dalek and everything, but you don't want to send something that is more likely to end up pre-broken even yeah. when it's in the packaging. I uh, I had a similar problem with the uh the blown glass canine Christmas ornament. Ooh. It arrived uh sadly destroyed. Oh. But um It arrived uh, as flaked glass. Yeah, it did. Uh but you know, uh yeah, well, this is easily fixed, but you shouldn't have to fix something straight out of the box. I agree. Uh, they need to work on their um, they need to work on their packaging a little bit. Mm. Uh, one thing that I will say that is that is kind of uh, nice is that uh, clearly the Dalek is the pepper and the Tardis yes. is the salt because Daleks are always they, when people are making fun of Daleks they call them pepper pots. So clearly they're the pepper, um, and I think that's very clever. Yes. I mean, it's a nice design. It's, yeah. it's a little blurrier on the details than I was expecting mm -hmm. compared to these completely unofficial ones here. Mm -hmm. um, but it's still not bad. And no. I've got to say, in comparison, the unofficial ones, um, while they were, while, while it's impressed into the clay more, yeah. the painting is worse. Whereas these, this has been a consistent problem with some of the Doctor Who stuff, like the, the actual impression into the clay or impression into the molds mm -hmm. is not that deep, but the paint job is much, much yes. better. Uh, also, these are clearly Smith Tardises, and these are clearly, this is clearly a tenant Tardis uh, <laughs> because of uh, the, the white detail around the edges of the window as opposed to the windows just being white. Mm -hmm. um, uh, one of the things I like about this, and I agree, the, the paint job on these is very, they look sort of, and if we, we can take a close-up close of these, they look kind of hand-done, and that's yeah. a bit charming. Uh, I'll say that. The other thing that I really like about the unofficial ones uh, <laughs> is that one of them says pepper, and one of them says salt. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, and, and you can see that they did it right. The salt is, has one uh, opening, and the pepper has more than one opening. And I think that's really, uh, that's really good. I was just checking to see. Yeah, the yeah. Dalek has. Uh, so I'm not going to send mine back, even though it came free broken. I'm going to mm -hmm. go get some super glue, and, and you know, it'll yeah. just have a little bit of charm. Yeah, um, and your mileage may vary. Uh, yeah. you could have just been uh, uh, unlucky, but I think the I think the way the packaging is done on yeah. it, it would be really hard to not break it in transit because it's yeah. just these two and this. So if you do decide to get the doctor, the official Doctor Who salt and pepper shakers. Also, order some super glue just in case if you don't need it. Fantastic, but mm -hmm. you know if you've got little Hoovians at home, they're like, "No, my toy's broken." Yeah. Although if you've got little Hoovians, why are you buying them a salt and pepper shaker? But still, <laughs> if you've got you know grandma, whoa, why is it broken? Then you can just fix it for her right there. Yeah, um, I'm gonna give these a a minus. A minus. Yeah, yeah. they're cute. They're... I, they are cute, but I do think that it's gonna be the... really hard to ship these and not break something. The packaging off of it. is an issue. I agree. Yeah. Well, we'll be back with more exciting Hoovian reviews for you for your holiday shopping season.
there. I'm Chris Rachel Oslin, your kitchen overlord. We're back with a downs. No. Just assume that you're always going to do the opening twice. We're back with an exciting batch of Doctor Who product reviews. We are. But I'm going to say that enthusiastically now. 